fuck my name and that Same season up for like I'm not yet My love, they don't know the zero match When you go to her baby, they too see for me now Yeah why name them that? So this is enough. Why like I'm not yet, my love. They don't know the zero match. That's the good way for baby. Softly they give them to me. Why only why only? Oh yeah, but for me oh, no for me oh, loving me the jelly. Oh yeah, but for me oh, the devil oh, pull me gently. Hey love, my name is Reed Zeruthi and I want to say thank you so much for clicking to watch my video. Yes, I am back with a brand new video and this is the look that we're going for in this video. It is super colorful, super playful and it's a cut crease. All the things I like to hear just in one sentence and it was inspired by this lovely Ankara head wrap here. I'm not so wonderful with the Ankara head wrap. I'm still learning but I came up with this super easy Ankara head wrap style and um, it's in this video. Now this video is a three in one video. Um, in this video I did a very in-depth tutorial on um, uh, foundation, foundation routine for women of color and for people with very oily skin like me. How I get my makeup to last all day looking fresh like this. And I also did um, uh, the colorful cut crease in this same video, very in depth as well. And also the Ankara head wrap. Are you not feeling this look? Because, I mean, seriously, look at that girl. Look at that freaking girl. Yes. So, that is what the video is going to be all about. I'm super excited because I had so much fun creating this video for you. Um, I put up a post on my Instagram page asking you to ask me whatever questions you want to know about me because I will be I will ugh, I will be shooting a get to know me video this weekend and I've already gotten some messages on Instagram if you want to go um, send me a direct message asking me any question at all my Instagram handle is at Ritzy Ruthie that's R-I-T-Z-Y R-U-T-H-Y I cannot wait to hear from you I cannot wait to shoot that video it's gonna be so much fun but for now mm. Mm, this is the look that we're going to do today so all you need to do is just keep on watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram at readzurity Ruti and if you're not subscribed to my channel already I don't know what you're waiting for it is always so much fun here a lot to learn and I really want to you know connect with you so just click on the subscribe button it is just below this video and um, yeah join my growing family Drop me a comment as well if you find the video helpful. I'm just being very goofy. I enjoyed making this video and I'm very happy. So I'm hoping that I can transfer that happiness to you. If you recreate the look, don't forget to tag me. And I'm going to go check out your page. I love you very much for watching my video. I'm definitely going to catch you in my next video. All right, so let's get into the eyes look and um, we're going to be using the Tara High Intensity Pigment Eyeshadow Palette in Margaret Ekbo and I'm using those two gorgeous pink colors. Now, I will be using a fluffy blending brush to apply that on my transition area. If you notice, I am applying most of the color on the outer portion of my transition area and dragging what's left into the inner corner. So... That's just that about that. And of course, right now I am just going over to um, use the purple color in a flat blending brush. I'm putting that along my crease line, like directly on top of my crease line, concentrating the colors on the outer portion of my eyes, and of course, dragging what's left into the inner corners. You want it to be a gradient effect from you know the lighter colors in the inner corner and then going up to the darker colors in your outer corner of your eyes and that is just what it is about cut creases so i'm just going to make sure that i blend it completely blend 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 and then i'm going to go in with that fluffy blending brush with a little bit of the pink shadow from the same palette i'm going to use that to blend out all the harsh lines that that blue and that purple color must have created along my crease line i'm just gonna blend it all out and that will just be that when it looks clean to me when i can see that gradient from the pink to the blue on to the purple then i know it's right i'm going to cut my crease now using 
my flat concealer brush my flat small concealer brush and i'm taking my elegant pro conceal in fun i'm just taking that to cut the crease right along my crease line it is just wonderful that i have a very defined crease line so it is very easy to do a cut crease for myself okay so i'm just gonna fill that in and i'm gonna make sure that i tap the concealer into my skin i'm gonna make sure that it is very seamless and i'm going in with a precision brush um you can call it a pencil blending brush some people call it the precision brush i'm gonna use that to darken the purple along the crease line and i'm gonna take a blending brush a small blending brush as well to make sure that i blend out any harsh lines so that's just it. It's just all about the blending. Make sure that there's a gradient effect from the purple to the gold and all of that. So right now I'm going in with the gold pigment from Bariat's Cosmetic Makeup, Makeup, Makeup and Cosmetic line. I'm taking that in my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just applying that all over my lid. And just if you look at it, you'd notice that I'm taking extra care along the crease line. That's because the crease line is already defined and I don't want to go over it. I don't want to mess up that crease line. If you make one mistake with the crease line, then you've destroyed the cut crease. So you have to be very careful. So now I'm going in to do my wing liner and I'm using the Maybelline Eyeliner. It's a gel liner and it's in the color black. I'm taking that in my liner brush my very tiny liner brush and i'm just creating my wing liner just the way i do it in every video of mine i'm just concentrating the co um the colors i, I want a very big calm wing not like big 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 but bigger than what i would normally um use for myself okay so that's it um, for the wing liner, it really doesn't have much explanations. It is just watch and learn. I'm going in now with my flat angled brush to clean off the wing liner. Make sure it is sharp as F. Yes. So just clean it out. If you see any jagged line, make sure you clean it out. Makeup is all about taking your time and be precise with the lines. That's the only way it can come out perfect. If it's crooked, if it's jagged, then of course it would just not be perfect. Except that's the look that you're going for. But I want my cut crease to be able to cut a nick. Okay, I'm not going to use that word, but I'm black. All right, so it's time for me to just go and prime my skin. And for the primer, I'm using my favorite primer for um, very oily skin. And that's the Pond's Oil Control Cream for oily, for very oily skin. Yeah, for very oily. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face and wait for it to get dry. And now I am applying my face powder right on top of my um, primed face before I put my foundation. Now that is the secret to having a very flawless makeup that stays matte all day. If you have very oily skin, try applying your powder before you apply your foundation. Okay? And now for the foundation, I am using Carob by black opal and it's the stick foundation it's oil based and for me to be able to use oil based and not be all oily all day that's because i applied that powder first so remember that that's the secret to having long lasting and matte looking face all day apply your powder before you apply your foundation and it makes a whole world of difference try it and see all right so i'm just going down with the um, flat head foundation brush I'm just using that to just apply and distribute the foundation evenly all over my face just make sure you apply it everywhere when it feels like it is sitting on your skin pretty then you know you've done a good job just take your time and blend like I said before makeup is all about the blending and now I'm going to highlight my face and um, using the NYX correct conceal and contour palette in the shade dark sorry deep yeah i think it's deep and i'm taking that color that is like a shade lighter than me and i'm applying that all over the areas that i need to highlight and that's right under my eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead my chin and my cupid's bow i'm just going to apply that and i'm going to blend it out using a booty blender 
yeah take your time it's just a pushing motion press it into the skin make sure you're not scrubbing once you scrub it trust me your, your makeup is gonna look patchy and you don't want your makeup to look patchy so just be gentle press it into the skin and it would come out looking flawless now once i'm done blending that all over i'm gonna go back with the la girl pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn i was running out of it but i decided to press the life <laughs> like a nigerian girl that i am press the life so that the lax products will come out and i'm just applying that right under my eyes and i'm just going to blend it very well because i wanted my the under of my eye to be very 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 bright and it should catch the attention of anybody looking at my face so i'm just gonna blend that right on top the nyx conceal correct and contour palette um color that i put before i'm gonna blend it in seamlessly if you notice i highlighted the corners of my nose in like the two corners of my nose i highlighted it and that's gonna make my nose look even smaller after i contour so that's just the trick to having your snatched nose and i'm going to go and set my highlighted areas with the sasha buttercup setting powder i'm just applying that with my damp beauty blender all over the place that i um concealed yeah i'm just gonna apply that all over it and for contour i'm using that dark brown shade from my morphe 35p palette yes i use eyeshadow as a contour color because i'm really dark and most times it's really hard to find contour powders that run as deep as you know something i can really show on my skin so i'm just contouring the hollows of my cheek i'm contouring my nose i'm contouring the my the perimeters of my forehead look i have five head mm -hmm. so you know what that means so now i'm gonna just take this anastasia beverly hills um illuminator and that's in riviera i'm taking that in a flat contour brush and i'm just using that to highlight the brow bones and now i'm taking my powder to just brush off every excess baking powder <laughs> setting powder and uh, the powder i'm using today is the maybelline fits me in the shade 360 i'm just using that i'm using a pressing motion really because um i just want this makeup look to last all day so i'm trying not to buff i'm trying to like press it into the skin and i'm taking that orange color from my margaret Ekbo palette and i'm using that as a blush yes eyeshadow as a blush and it came out perfect so makeup is all about innovation and now i'm highlighting the high points of my cheekbones and i'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the shade Riviera. I love this thing. It is it glows like crazy. Yeah. I'm highlighting my nose, the high point of my cheekbones, the my forehead, the side of my face. I'm highlighting my cupid's bow. I'm highlighting my chin. Look, man, I am highlighting everywhere and I do not care. So I'm going now to just go run um my um gel liner on my water lash just to make sure that place is deep and i'm going to extend it right under the eyes to make it really bold i'm going under my lash like you have to use your brush to lift up your lashes your bottom lashes and draw your line right under it so that it can be clean and smooth if you do it on top of your lashes it's going to be dirty and scattered for our lashes today, I'm going to be using this one by Riaco Lashes and it's in the style Nifa 001. It is really long. It is like very dramatic. And for this look, I was really feeling like, you know, a dramatic lash would actually do it a world of good. And I was not wrong. I'm just applying that using my tweezer. I'm just going to, yeah, just apply it as easy as that. And, um, I was really feeling myself, so sorry about that. For lips, I'm using the Lipstick Pencil by Zaron Cosmetic. And right now, I'm just lining my lips with the um, lipstick pencil called Maxim. It's um, more like a berry colored lips, lip pencil. I'm just using that to line the perimeters of my lips and just make sure that it's, you know, um, it gives my lips some structure before I apply the nude one. And the nude lipstick I'm using is a lip pencil also by Zaron Cosmetic, and it's called 
muse so i'm gonna just put muse um in the inner portion of my lips and that's just what i am doing now i noticed that my lips were kind of dry so i just moisturized my lips with my my saliva <laughs> it's disgusting but hey that's what i did and as soon as i'm done applying the lipstick i mean that's all for this look and i'm just gonna go into the head wrap yeah i'm just blending it together by smacking my lips and um yeah that's pretty much the finished look Ooh, yes all right for the head wrap part of this tutorial i'm taking this ankara head wrap and i'm just you know putting it on from the back of my head if you notice i'm squeezing it together because um that's the look i'm going for and i'm just going to wrap it making a v i'm just making that v in front of my hair and i'm just going to take whatever is left and tie it right behind that bun i'm going to push it back and adjust it as um i, I didn't fit it's really self-explanatory it took literally like 30 seconds to get that head wrap on thank you very much guys for watching my video i love you very much i'll catch you in my next video please do not forget to subscribe bye where you bounce for you yeah i like the way you bend like say you want to greet your mom